on the assignment for week two. Like in other programs, we have first have to get some input. The first two are quite easy. You have to get the initial stock level and the number of months as input. However, then you need input, which depends on the number of months entered earlier. So if you have entered the number five for the number of months, then you need five inputs, namely five sales quantity for these five months. So how to do it? The first tools are quite easy that you have done before. Once you have this uh, number of months, you can now create a for loop to run over these months. However, you have to first initialize a list where you can store all these sales quantities for these months. So let's say we do a sales quantity list which is an empty list at the very beginning. And now we are loop over the number of months. So four month in range num month. And here again, we first ask for an input. So um, sales quantity equals to and input and sales quantity in here. And this sales quantity we append to this uh, list we have created before. As always, I propose um, to first have a look if the program up to now is working fine. Okay, let it run. Initial stock level. 500. We do not do any computation with this. Three months are sufficient for the time being. And then we enter three values. And you can see this is working fine up to now. Let's now do this calculation. How much products have to be used? How big are the production quantities? Again, we first need an empty list. So let's say production quantity equals to an empty list. And then we again have to loop over these month. So range num month. And now we have basically to implement the calculation described in these lines in here. So how does it go? We have basically two options. The first one is the current stock level is high enough, so we do not need to produce anything. So we ask if stock is bigger or equal to um, the current sales quantity, which is sales quantity for our month. So what's then? then uh, we basically need nothing to produce, so we can append a zero to production quantity. T append zero. However, these uh, sales, see, the, uh, the current stock has to be decreased by how much has been delivered to meaning about uh, by the sales quantity for this month. So stock minus equal to um, sales quantity for the current month. This stock cannot go into a minus because we have first identified that the stock level is currently higher than the sales quantity. So what is if we do not have enough um, elements, enough items in this uh, uh, stock anymore? Then we can say we need to do the following production. Production is equal to uh, sales quantity per month for the current month minus what is still left in this stock. And after this operation, 
um, the stock is empty. So if we can say stock equals to zero. And we have to append this current production to our production quantity. So production quantity append production. Basically, that is, that's it. Finally, we have to get the output. Again, we do a for loop for month in range num month. We say um, print and then we get this print of a buff here. Production quantity month. And we have to enter the month in here. And we have to enter these minus. Yeah. And then we have to enter the value we have calculated. So production quantity for the given month. Now let's first give it a try if it runs fine. So please in enter initial stock level, let's say uh, 100. Yeah. Please enter the number of months is three. Please enter the plant sales quantity. Let's say 50, 70, 30. And now we have a type arrow. Okay, this must of course not be a record, but a parenthesis. I had a typo in here. So let's do it again. 100 three months, 70, 50, 30. So what you can see, production quantity month zero equals to zero because 70 is higher than, uh, lower than uh, 100, 30 are left. In the second month we will have a sales quantity of uh, 50 and uh, we have to produce then 20. And finally, as the stock is uh, empty now, these 30 sales quantity we have to produce in total. Let's enter the values from above. So initial stock level 500, month to plan five, and so on and so on. So let's rerun the program. We do have 500 at the beginning. We do want five months and the months are 300, 250, 200, 400, and 100. And then we get our result, which is 550, 200, 400, 100. And it's the same what we see in here. So the program seems to run fine.